Ty, this is um, twofold. Jacques has always talked a lot about, you know, building trust and asking you guys to play hard. Um, when you see KD with that huge grin after a block and you're diving in the stands like headlong up 11 <laughs> in the fourth, I mean, are these kind of exemplifying the kind of ethos that he's been preaching? Yeah, uh, building trust, that consistency, that discipline, and just having some fun out there, competing at a high level, doing all the little things, you know, that makes a um, game swing sometimes. And um, it matter at the end of the day. We've been talking about it over the last few weeks, so just these little things. We had a great homestand, and now we got to take care of it on the road. Um, just have some fun doing it. And when Katie has a grin on his face, it means we're playing hard. Our leader's happy. And, um, you know, all of us are, are taking that, that leadership role as well and controlling what we can control. When earlier in the season you guys would frequently give up possessions, by that I don't mean you're trying hard in the possessions, I mean you're giving up 8, 10, 12 more shots than you're taking. Yeah. Um, the last few games you've done a better job of evening that out or having an advantage in that to let your efficiency take over. What's, what's been the key to that in your mind? Uh, just coming in prepared, putting in the work. Uh, and just letting the game uh, come to you and just responding. You know, we, we obviously want to be the aggressors going into games, and I think at, at times uh, we can play back on our heels, so we're working towards just building that consistency of just coming out and setting the pace on what we want to do. Um, and I think, as you'll see uh, in the future, we'll, we'll make some changes on the fly in games where – you know, different lineups, you know, guys playing harder. Jock's made it very clear that if you're not playing hard enough, you know, he's going to let you know about it. And, uh, you know, we got guys on the bench that are willing to go out and do those things. So um, it makes you uh, take advantage of the time you're out there and the minutes you're out there and then hold everybody else accountable. Kyrie, you guys have won now four in a row, eight of nine. As you look back over the last couple of weeks specifically, what do you think has clicked? And just being in a good rhythm. Basketball guys rewarding us for playing hard. Twenty-five assists on forty-four made baskets. I know assists don't always tell the story, but do you think that's coming because you're getting the ball to the guys in the right spots? Is it the ball movement combination of both? Mm. Just making the right basketball reads. You know, like all of us work really hard in our game, so we want to go out there and uh, play hard for one another. And when you have uh, you know nights where other teams don't necessarily have their starters, it could be a, a trap game, set up game. So uh, we just want to establish our identity. Everybody that gets minutes, play as hard as you can, and live with the results. I would have asked you really a shoot around, but I mean, did you have any thoughts on Brittany Reiner? I mean, I know this is something that you've discussed in the past, but did you have any thoughts on her being finally? Yeah. Yeah, I'm grateful she's home, grateful she's with her family. Most importantly, um, you know, humanity comes first. You know, we all feel for her. We all feel for everyone that is uh, wrongfully imprisoned or in, in some type of uh, prison somewhere where they haven't gotten their justice. So we feel for her for sure. I'm just grateful that we all can share uh, in the celebration with her being here and still more work to do out in the world. Have you seen enough of what's transpired recently to believe this is sustainable long-term? What do you mean? That you can keep winning at this rate or similar to this rate? That's a good question. I'm just going to do our jobs every day. Just live with the results at the end of the season when things really are clicking, hopefully. Uh, and I don't want to say hopefully. They will be clicking. We just got to put in the work. And uh, whether it's sustainable or not, we're going to have to prove that to ourselves every time we lace them up. And every time we come in this locker room, every time we prepare, we know what the job is. So go handle it. And, um, you know, teams are going to give us their best shots. But again, we want to be the aggressors out there. Do you think you do you think you guys as a whole big picture are more process oriented than results oriented than you were last year? Man, let's just go win ball games. That's it. That's that's really what it, <clears throat> the attitude is. Let's go win ball games. We, we, we know the talent we have. This is our group. No more excuses, no more distractions, you know what I mean? No more uh, just throwing in kind of these, like, uh, surprise injuries. You know, we just want everybody to be healthy, everybody to have fun coming in and, um, you know, playing their game.